What's good? It's Stormy B-Man and I'm back with another Stormy B-Man's Briefs. This time, the focus is on Tim Bradley saying Javante Tank Davis is cheating with the rehydration clause for the Ryan Garcia fight. In an article published on Boxing News 24 by Adam Baskin, it is taking note that Tim Bradley says Tank Davis is openly cheating with him gaming the system using his A-side to weasel a high rehydration clause in a 136 pound catch weight to gain an advantage over Ryan Garcia in their fight scheduled for April 22nd at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Bradley sees this as a really soft on Tank Davis's part to use both a rehydration clause and 136 pound catch weight to ensure that Ryan, who is now 23 and 0 with 19 KOs, is physically weakened enough to guarantee that he wins the fight against him. The article goes on to say, quote, he doesn't have a whole lot of problems with guys that have size. Tank also likes guys that come out fast. He doesn't mind that. He'll play defense for a little while and he'll play possum, said Bradley, to fight hype about Javante Tank, Tank Davis having no issues with taller fighters. He'll allow you to get comfortable, unquote. Then he quotes on to state that that is so soft, I'm sorry, said Bradley. If you're going to do it, do it. You're going to party, party. If you're going to buy your kids some shoes, buy your kids some shoes. This dude, Tank, first of all, has him coming down to 136. Then he put in a rehydration clause. Man, that ain't cheat. If that ain't cheating at its best, and if that isn't trying to have the advantage, bro, then I don't know what is. That's soft. The crazy thing is, there's going to be an asterisk right up there. Let's just stop right there for a moment with Mr. Bradley and his take on things. Bradley, who has recently been announced that he's going to be joining the Hall of Fame, has begun to be a person kicked into overdrive when it comes to curious statements made about his perspective and take on the sport of boxing. He knows that when you look at the two men, Javante Tank Davis, who will campaign at 135 for as long as he can because he's a very slight man. If you look at Ryan Garcia, who's almost six foot tall and he walks around at almost 180 pounds, you could tell the difference in the size of the men. And the 180 pounds that Ryan carries, it's not because he's so big and strapping, it's due to lack of discipline. He doesn't hang around near the weight class that he should be campaigning because he doesn't put in the work. There was a time when Tank was having an issue making weight and everything, but he seems over his last three or four fights to have overcome those circumstances. So when Bradley says this, what about what we've seen in past fights where fighters like Gilberto Ramirez, who missed his fight with 12 pounds being overweight, or what we've seen from the Fury camp, or what we've seen in situations where there have been fighters like Michael Fox put at disadvantages due to the cheating, the real cheating in the sport. Bradley has once again made himself look like a fool and I don't appreciate when you have someone who is a former professional fighter who is now sitting back from a position of loftiness looking down on others who participate in the sport. Boxing politics have always remained but to see these men who are former fighters come in and ridicule the sport and those who participate currently it's just disgusting. And I have to say that when Bradley had an opportunity to face certain fighters in his career, he made sure that he went the other way. How about Floyd Mayweather? How about Earl Spence? Keith Thurman? Guys who could have shown something getting in the ring with he. Ruslan Provodnikov probably knocked what little screws he had loose in his head away. But those are my thoughts. What do you think? This is Stormy B Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, 
please like, comment, and share.